I want you to imagine that you're an obstetrician gynecologist like me. And I want you to imagine that you are a pro-choice obstetrician gynecologist like I used to be. Your patient today is 17 years old. She's 20 weeks pregnant. Now, if you could see her baby, which is very easy to do on an ultrasound, her baby would be as big as the length of your hand, from head to rump, from your middle finger to your wrist. That big. She's been feeling her baby kick for the last two weeks, but now she's asleep on an operating room table, and you're there to help her with her problem. You walk into an operating room scrubbed and gowned, and to the right of the table, of the operating table, there is a smaller table where your instruments are located. And the first thing you're going to reach for is a suction catheter. It's about nine inches long, it's clear plastic, and I want you to picture yourself putting this up through the vagina, through the cervix, and into the uterus, and then instruct your circulating nurse to turn on the suction machine. Now what you'll see is pale yellow fluid running through the tubing into the machine. That was the amniotic fluid that was there to protect the baby. Now if she were only, and I told you, a 20-week baby, head to rump, not counting the legs, is the middle of your finger to your wrist. If she were 12 weeks pregnant or less, measured from her last period, her baby would be, a 12-week baby is the width of your hand, head to rump, not counting the legs. And if she were 12 weeks pregnant or less, you pretty much could do the entire abortion with this one instrument. A baby's this big, don't fit through catheters this size. When you're done with that, you reach for your sofa clamp. You get your sofa clamp. It's about 13 inches long. It's stainless steel. And the business end, when you get a hold of this, look at it. It's about two and a half inches long and a half inch wide. And when you get this in your hands and look at it, you're going to feel it's a heavy clamp. And there are rows of sharp teeth. This is a grasping instrument. When it gets a hold of something, it does not let go. A D&E abortion, a second trimester D&E abortion is a blind procedure. You can't see anything. It's all done by feel. So picture yourself, and I'm serious, picture yourself putting this up through the uterus. Be really careful because the walls are thin and soft, and it is easy as pie to go right through them. Then grasp with the instrument. Grab hold of anything you can. You can't see what you're doing. Just grab something and feel yourself pulling, and I mean hard. Now it pops the leg that big, which you put down on the table. Reach in again. Grab blindly. Pull. Hard. Now comes an arm, the same length, which you put down on the table. And reach in with this instrument again and again and tear out the spine, the intestines, and the heart and lungs. A head on a baby that size is about the size of a plum. And again, you can't see it. You have a pretty good idea you're there if you've got a hold of something and your fingers are spread as far as they'll go. You know you did it right if you crush down in the clamp and white material runs out of the cervix. That was the baby's brains. Now you can pull out skull pieces. You have a bad day like I had a lot of times. Sometimes a little face comes back and stares back at you. Congratulations. You just successfully performed a second trimester d &E abortion. You just affirmed her right to choose. You just made $800 cash in 15 minutes. And when somebody goes, I'm pro-choice, then I hope they understand exactly what it is that they're championing.